An attempted intruder intercepted after trying to break into a South Florida home. The danger at the door caught on camera. The homeowner dialing for help and he and neighbors say deputies were too slow to respond. And now their response is under review. 7th Gina Benitez is live in Tamarack where it all went down. Gina. An elderly man inside his home when a man tried over and over to break in. And this man says he called 911 and the cops only showed up to his door after the man was already gone. I'm still trying to understand it. A crook targeting this Tamarack home a few weeks ago, all while homeowner Bill Narcunas was inside. Surveillance cameras showing exactly what happened. I came down here and a complete stranger is trying to get into my house. A man tries to break in through Bill's front door, slamming into it and repeatedly tugging on the handle. And I yelled at him, you go away. I put on the lights and usually crooks, they run away. But this guy stayed put. And then he started kicking the door and then I had a handgun and I pointed it at him through the glass and I said, go, go. The man just kept at it, continuously trying to bust through the door. Fortunately, he was never able to. Meanwhile, I was I had called 911 and, and and no 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 sheriff came. Other neighbors say they too called 911, while Bill, who is elderly and disabled, says he had to wait alone in his home for about 15 minutes until the crook finally gave up. The operator told me that that the, they were coming. But I said, what are they taking so long? Neighbors say the man, identified as Timothy Johnson, eventually walked down the road and turned himself into nearby deputies. BSO, meanwhile, is reviewing the response, saying, within days of the incident in Tamarack, the Broward Sheriff's Office began a thorough review into how the deputies on scene handled the response to this fluid and rapidly evolving situation. Bill says there's about $3,000 worth of damage to his home, but he is just thankful to be alive and also thankful that he did not have to use deadly force. We're live in Tamarack, Gina Benitez, 7 News.